Hey, I'll do the Nostalgia Guild Wars 4 Part 2 here. Gotta talk about this. Make mistakes much to err as human. Learn from it if you make mistakes. Stay calm. You will see a painful Guild Wars raid next. If you have a bad loss, even more reason to scout more. That's what I learned here. You gotta learn from your mistakes. If you spot my mistake in this next raid, post it down in your comments below. There's actually a couple things I could have done differently in this next raid, so enjoy my pain and misery! Alright, that one right there. Let's check out this 138. I mean, if there's something way easier and I just have to go one deeper, then we're going to go one deeper and make it way easier, right? Now here he doesn't have any ranged troops, so what's going to happen here is, yeah, I'm going to smoke him with tertiary damage. Um, but I do know uh, there's a 141 base that's a little bit better in countries. A 141 in countries. This one right here. I think this is one I determined was a little easier. Just got that Cupid. No, actually, that's not easier. It's a little harder. Let's go to this one and just see if there's anything easy. Again, there's a Here Be Monsters base, not a Guild Wars base. Oh, this is the, this is the kind of stuff we're looking for. All you gotta do when you see a base like this is make sure that they don't have a super uber warlock. And I don't see a super uber warlock here. So this is the case where you just drop that guy. You just drop... Let's see, you want Pumpkin Duke and the Minotaur. You want Minotaur. My Pumpkin Duke has Revite 5. I wanted him up. And then we're gonna go like this. And we're good. Minotaur there should do what he needs to do. And then I got all these mecha men ready to go if I need to distract here, which I looks like I might need to do. So I'm going to start distracting. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. They're distracting. They're just distracting. I'm trying, trying to get some procs off. All right. Okay, so his Vlad went off there. No, no. Oh, no, this is not going to work out well for me. Oh, terrible. I should have done that a lot differently. I should have used Dread Drake more. That was a mistake. You know, what happened was I was trying to put more Mecha Men out and it slipped onto Santa. Oh, that's just a big newbie mistake. So, oh, my advice I've given you is just has been destroyed. How do I let a base like that beat me? That's what happens, guys. This is delicate balance. And, yeah, that didn't work out so well for me. Did not work out so well for me. That is, when in doubt, scout more. I think we probably could have, let's see, let's see if that's true, right? So I still have attacks, and let's, for, so for right now, I would say every time that you do Guild Wars, try to maybe just do one high risk attack like that. That wasn't even high risk, that was just me messing up. But I mean, you get the idea. And so I'm going to go into the highest might one, and I'm going to go page two, and see if, again, let's look for mistakes. Let's look for mistakes. A lot of people do make mistakes. They don't mean to, it's just... They didn't get their base done before reset. People have a life. You know, people have lives. And mistakes are made, and not so much in this guild, right? Pretty much everyone has one. Everyone has a Guild Wars base. There's no issues. They're all using kind of the same base. Except this person. I mean, this is it. <sighs> this one I won't even need to worry about. Um... Yeah, Minotaur, though, I don't know if he... It's, it's a great debate on if you should use Minotaur. I mean, my Dread Drake could probably annihilate this base a lot more. I mean, I obviously can drop all my heroes right here and be fine, like this. But I was just trying to prove out is... You know, I think Minot Minotaur might just be a little bit too destructive, you know? But the fact that I can drop him and get an instant stun is something to consider. That has high value. That has high value if... um. If you don't have an Ares, if you just need a boom, you know, lock down like a Skull Knight, for example, a Ground Walker, or let's say a Warlock, or something like that, Pumpkin Duke for that matter, and Druid, those are the common heroes you'll see that are Ground Walkers that a Minotaur's stun will impact, since it will not impact anyone that floats, and so I mean, that's what we did, I, that one attack again, it's just every time, oh, it's just, you're really focused on four out of the five, and you 100% four like I did, and then that last one, you just leave those one to 200 points on the table. That just crushes your rankings. If I had another 200 points, say, I would have been about 2,000, say 2,050, right? 2,050, that would have placed me in the top 10. 
that would have really con contributed to my guild. I'd say obviously a lot more than I have. And so again, I'm ranked 17, 1,857 points. I mean, it's probably above average, right? It's probably above average. It's, it's actually probably about average, 1,800 points for me. Now let's learn from that mistake. At the beginning of the video, I said you gotta learn from your mistakes. You gotta determine what was the mistake. This is that one Guild Wars raid of mine where I did not 100%, and it was a 376 point base. Okay, first off, I should have scouted more. Mistake one, scout more for a, a base with higher might, that's easier. That's number one, okay? Now, dropping Dread Drake up here is not a mistake. I think it's fine. Dropping this Minotaur, now that, you know, we got to determine if Minotaur makes sense, you know, for my account. And here I did, I dropped the Pumpkin Duke and then a Minotaur. I wanted the Minotaur to have a stack on him before he procced his large attack. That worked out fine. Then I dropped the Cupid. The Cupid drop was fine. And what happened, in my opinion, from that point on, when I dropped the rest of my troops I think dropping my troops was fine so as my heroes on the left side of the base are clearing it they're gonna start walking to the main base if the heroes in the main base have a lot of momentum meaning high energy I'm gonna be in trouble so dropping the mecha men right here drop 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 those are fine that's fine dropping those ornithopters are fine dropping more mecha men are fine i should have dropped more of them probably where i was originally but here look at this it's the vlad and santa boom that right there that right there was the mistake i was trying to aggro on to his vlad when he jumped over the walls but then his vlad procked killing both my santa boom and vlad that was the mistake i should have let my troops trigger those procs or drop more troops in that same location get that vlad proc of my opponents to go off then my my heroes could come into the base with higher momentum okay i could have also dropped the the Santa Boom and Vlad at the bottom corner there instead of the top, and I would have been fine, I think. I mean, but again, scout more, right? Scout more, and then also, if you do drop, be real intentional. I just, I got to get that last one done and use those tricks. Scout more. I mean, find that one base if you have to. You need 100%. You know, don't, you know, I over, I don't know if I over, or underestimated that base that I didn't 100% or if simply I need to pick someone else because this Minotaur he can level a base if you get the right stacks on him right but at the same time you know you might be better off with a long range you might be better off with a pixie that can directly target you might be better off with you know for sure dread drake I mean what probably would have been even better for me there was a Harpy Queen. I think Harpy Queen would have been better than Minotaur. So I do got to think about that. What's an alternative for my Minotaur given my account? You know, you know, do I just run a Druid to get that extra you know, stackage going on like a Dread Drake or what? So anyways, that's how it went. As always, keep it dirty and dirty up.